Good morning, it's Thursday, August 20th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Problem with Dirty Laundry, and our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, where Paul writes, When one of you has a dispute with another believer, how dare you file a lawsuit and ask a secular court to decide the matter instead of taking it to other believers? Don't you realize that someday we believers will judge the world? And since you're going to judge the world, can't you decide even these little things among yourselves? Don't you realize that we will judge angels? So you should surely be able to resolve ordinary disputes in this life. If you have legal disputes about such matters, why go to outside judges who are not respected by the church? I'm saying this to shame you. Isn't there anyone in all the church who's wise enough to decide these issues? But instead, one believer sues another right in front of unbelievers. Even to have such lawsuits with one another is a defeat for you. Why not just accept the injustice and leave it at that? Why not let yourselves be cheated? Instead, you yourselves are the ones who do wrong and cheat, even your fellow believers. Don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or are abusive or cheat people, none of these will inherit the kingdom of God. Some of you were once like that. But you were cleansed, you were made holy, you were made right with God by calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. This sounds so much like my mother's words as she would send me off to school or to play with a friend or on my first date. Russell, remember who you are and whose you are. Paul is not exactly reading the riot act to the church, but it's close. He reminds them that acting like the rest of the unbelieving world destroys the witness of their life in Christ. I can hear the unwritten thoughts rolling around in Paul's head. Surely they can't think the stuff they're suing each other over is worth more than the souls of others they're soiling with their terrible witness. With all the perverted stuff they used to live in and were rescued from by Jesus' grace, they think lawsuits are the way to act like Christians? These people are so gifted by God's Spirit, how can they do such things? This is the problem with a headstrong attitude that demands its rights rather than bending a knee to the bigger picture Jesus painted by hanging on a cross that belonged to us. It's better to give in to humility and maintain your life and witness in Christ, even if it means being defrauded by someone who's supposed to be a Christian brother or sister, but hasn't learned what the life in Christ demands. Paul's reminder includes the fact that their little issues over disputes about who gets what in a business deal are distracting them from the bigger fish Jesus has for their fry pans. They are judges in training for the coming kingdom. They will be part of the judgment of the ungodly, even to the point of their charge to judge God's angels. And that's no small responsibility. To muddy the water with the little disputes they're having over worldly issues was defeating God's greater plans for them. Their magnificently gifted witness was drowning in a mud puddle. For you today, never let it be said, because of your actions or your words, that you have forgotten who you are in Christ, literally, whose you are. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.